Hi Taurus, welcome to the channel of love and welcome to your November tarot and oracle reading. I'm going to be using the fairy tarot and the oracle of the fairies. I will pull 15 cards and we shall see what the story is for this November, which is fast approaching. It's the 28th today. Okay, let's give these cards a shuffle. Taurus. Taurus, you have Father Sky and Mother Earth looking after you. God. <laughs> you have a fairy godmother with you. Okay. And it's been quite hard for you, Taurus. You've been through some heartbreak. That is all about to change. I'm just looking at the first two cards, really. And um, just picking up the energy from them. We should have a good look into this one. Leon. Taurus, one more card, please. Okay. The underlying energy for your reading Taurus is the Ace of Summer. This is a really nice reading because I can see the Ace of Summer and the Ace of Autumn. Um, the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, an offer of uh, long-lasting true love. And the offer of um, a very abundant, prosperous life, happy life that's coming your way Taurus. Ace of Summer, the underlying energy. Open your heart to love, the beginning of a new intimate relationship or the rebirth of a current one, the awakening of psychic abilities or spiritual epiphanies. Open your heart to love because I felt like there had been heartbreak and I picked up the energy of actually God here, Father Sky, that's why I said that. Um, I'm feeling as if you are the feminine here and you've taken all these icicles out of your heart so your heart is now opening up um, to love again so it feels like your heart maybe was closed off reach out to others for comfort and love you will grow stronger from this situation sadness that will heal with time that's healing you've got the nine of summer next the nine of cups wishes come true dreams fulfilled a magical time of life <clears throat> there's your fairy godmother which I felt was Mother Earth. Now, what's actually looking at you is the King of Spring. Innovative, inspiring, wise, and the theatrical. <clears throat> A financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed now. An unexpected supporter of your cause. Now, this is interesting. Because I feel like what someone's interested in you now because you've been offered the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, which are divine offerings from the divine. So you've got this person kind of intrigued now. A financial windfall. Your leadership skills are needed now. An unexpected supporter of your cause. So somebody unexpectedly comes into your life. Just now that you're getting back on track, opening up your heart to love again. Perfect timing, really. King of Autumn is who it is. So this is someone who is partnership material. I want to say partnership material because I'm feeling a really strong energy of actually working with someone in partnership. So not only will it be a love affair, um, it's also a business affair. Now, seeing as I said the word affair, does that mean that it's undercover, it's not known, or is it just 
and a fair. <laughs> what does a fair actually mean? Let's have a look at the definition of it. I just had a message from CoStar. What did it say? Don't be afraid to be alone. And I feel that this energy here has been alone and has transmuted that fear, pain, hurt. Especially when it says here, reach out to others for comfort and love. And I'm not sure that this feminine really has had many people to comfort and love her. But she has grown through this situation, from this situation, and sadness that will heal, heal in time. So don't be afraid to be alone. What was we looking at? The word I found. An event or sequence of events of a specified kind or that have previously been referred to. The board admitted responsibility for the affair. A sexual relationship between two people, one or both of whom are married to someone else. I don't feel that that is the case here. I feel that would just cause you more, well, would it cause you more heartache? You won't even be attracting that kind of energy in because you've transmuted that pain of the past. So we have a King of Autumn here. He's compassionate, accomplished, charismatic and gifted. Be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. It's everything going your way and a good person or company to work for. And I want to say this feels like vice versa. You will enjoy working with this, um, this masculine. Okay, He has um, assets that can be beneficial towards um, your future, but it feels like it's your future together. I do feel like this is about coming together partnership. This is a um, mission work, leaving a legacy here. You can make his dreams come true, but it seems that also he can make your dreams come true. An unexpected supporter of your cause, a good person or company to work for. The next card is the Six of Winter. Now this is the moving on card. So we've moved on from the past. Positive changes are on their way, a welcome relief from troubled times and travelling or relocating. So there's, um, oh, I, okay, I want to say there is an upheaval here in life, but it's for uh, the greater good. Ace of Autumn, here is the legacy being offered. A windfall of money, advice or assistance from others. A very successful project, a happy change in your career. I actually feel that this comes after the feminine has opened up her heart to love again. And um, so I'm not too sure whether the abundance actually comes in before or whether because your heart's open to it that this masculine here can help make your dreams come true. You are making his dreams come true as well. Okay, Seven of Autumn, but he's having a think about this. So I feel that he can see that you've grown have patience and don't worry. Take time to rest and plan your next steps. A prudent investment of time or money. This masculine's having a good think about um, new earth. I was going to say a new world, but it's about new earth. Ten of winter is next. Now with the ten of swords, the ten of winter, it suggests that you can no longer carry on doing things the way that you've done them because it doesn't work. So this is about trying a, a new concept out. The resolution of difficulties, a weight lifted off your shoulders and the end of an addiction or codependency. Now we're coming to the new world. A brilliant success. That's how you're going to be coming into new earth. A brilliant success, the freedom to go in any direction. A journey that is now complete, freedom. Very nice energy, and is attracting in a really nice energy. Prince of Springs coming in, charming, self-confident, passionate, and restless. Immediate action, a challenge you can successfully manage in a passionate relationship. I do feel here with the feminine energy, it's about you getting yourself sorted first, and then it all just rolls in. 
Okay, I saw this card yesterday and I picked up about the ball rushes and I said it'd be interesting to see what comes out in Taurus's reading. The ball rushes. Okay, in a good way I feel. I feel like life is really pushing along now. Queen of Winter. <clears throat> Strong, patient, self-sufficient and funny. Let go of people or things that no longer serve you, and that's why you have this element of freedom here. Now is the time to focus on your career, unmarried or divorced individuals. So we can see that the affair is not a secret, it's not a, a sexual relationship between two people where either both or one of them is married. Okay. Unmarried and divorced individuals. I like that, individuals. Self-sufficient people. Princess of Winter, inquisitive, truthful, realistic, and undiplomatic. Information that can help you, but which may also be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness, an indigo child or adult. Now this actually brings me to like mission work. Okay, masculine, feminine energy going out there. We sometimes, we sometimes, a lot of the time we can trigger people. Okay, just with our light and love. It kind of, um, it registers something within their soul that recognises that. And if they're kind of caught up in the, the drama of life, um, we all seek to have that freedom within. And it can be triggering. So information that can help you, but which may be difficult to hear. Speaking the truth with kindness, an indigo child or adult. And I feel like the masculine and the feminine um, within this reading are indigo children who are now adults. This is their role to come out here and to come out here and I want to say maybe upheaval. Um, belief systems is coming to it. There's a renewal here. Now this is a judgment card. Review the past and the present so you can plan a bright new future. Understanding your life purpose and releasing judgments of yourself and others. It's a very nice energy here. Now, I feel like this is the masculine actually agreeing. I feel the feminine is on board, okay? She is a light worker and she will work her magic and light. Uh, the masculine here, it would have been a contract that you had signed up with God before you came into your vessel. It's just, we forget, okay? Um, but this is about remembering understanding your life purpose and there's a contract here that the masculine needs to commit to i'm going to give this contract to the fairies here look at the gnomes are they gnomes <laughs> goblins elves ten of summer ten of cups then it all comes in for this masculine, most definitely. And emotionally, fulfilling life with family or friends, raising children wisely and people you can trust. We all need people that we can trust. The High Priestess sends this reading to all of us. Trust in your intuition, careful reflection before taking action and insights that come through meditation. This has all been written. This is a contract that was written many years ago before uh, you were born into this body. Okay, the Akashic Records here. Very interesting to all of us. Okay. Let's get you a fairy oracle. Really, this whole reading is about both of you opening your hearts up to love. And embracing your purpose together. What was the purpose of your connection? What is the purpose of your connection? Okay. Let's see what the Oracle would like to say to you, to all of us. Flourish. 
The Lotus Flower Fairy tells you to learn from experience and shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life or those of others. Now this kind of comes in with the energy of uh, information that can help you but which may also be difficult to hear, triggering. But we're here to help others, to shed your inner light on any unclear areas of your life and those of others. Speaking the truth with kindness, with judgment out of the mix. Judgment is never in the mix with the Ace of Cups, because this is unconditional love. Flourish. It's time to flourish, Taurus. From dirty mud, beautiful flowers emerge. We can liken mud to the trials of life, to the things that have hurt us, but also ultimately shaped us and helped us to grow into the people we are today. From pain comes growth, and this growth can inspire others who are going through similar discomfort. The Lotus Flower Fairy comes to say that you have a wealth of experience that can be used to help others. When we learn from the past and from painful experiences, we can truly and fully flourish into beautiful beings who shine on the inside. You're a beautiful flower, born of the lessons of the past. If you're going through a tough time right now, this fairy reminds you that you're receiving life's spiritual ingredients with which to grow and flourish. Judgment's not in the mix. Okay. So I feel like the energy of stop judging yourself, stop judging others. Okay, Whenever you judge another, you're only judging yourself. So this card also tells you that a lotus flower and a rose can't be compared. For every flower is unique and beautiful, and the same goes for us humans. We each have special talents and skills, and no one can be as good at being you as you are. The fairies know this only too well. So celebrate the wonderful person you've become and continue to flourish, precious one. I love it. That's such a good reading, Taurus. Taurus, have yourself a fantastic November. I will catch up with you guys soon. Until then, take care. Much love. Bye for now.